we're at the Christian retreat, but we got a couple of hours of free time. We got a worm on the line. This is Big Green Lake because it's big and green. And we're going to uh, toss this worm as far as we can. Now there are lake trout in this lake, but you have to have a boat to actually get lake trout. And we don't have a boat. So that's gonna have to do, I think that's maybe like 10 feet of water. Hopefully that's enough for a fish. Gonna fish for some bait fish on the wavy, non-wavy side. Worm, foot and a half under a bobber. Toss it into the bay, there's a lot of reeds here. Should be some blue gillish fish here. For, in not too long, just toss it in the middle, set it down and hopefully there'll be a blue gillish fish or some small bait fish that picks it up. But even this bay is like four or five feet deep. It's not that shallow. All right, I think I got one down there. I might have a bait fish. Is that a fish? It is a fish. It's tiny. Oh, it's a bass, isn't it? Yeah, that's, no, it's perch. It's a perch, yellow perch. This thing was like a foot long, it'd be nice dinner. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, guys, we got Mr. Yellow Perch on the line and he's perfect bait for a pike, um, for a gato fish, for a big bass, or anything else. Can't quite ta ca cast it that far, but that should be good enough. Probably five, 10 feet of water and hopefully something big picks him up. Now that we got that bait out, we're gonna toss this thing out again and just kind of float it near here and sometimes uh, you'll get a fish, other times not. But I think all of them that I've been catching around here are perch. Bobber goes down every couple of seconds. I am almost sure they're all perch, but some of them just don't stick on. Most of them don't. I think this, this one, nope, this one's a gill. No, it is actually a perch. I lied, yellow perch. Another one. There's a lot of these perch here, a lot. Nice little pike snack, another yellow perch. Green Lake is full of these, yellow perch. Mr. Yellow Perch is on the line. And now we're gonna toss them very, very far out into the abyss. We've got about six pounds of total weight on here. So this might not go that far. No, it did not go that far. But that should be far enough for a pike or something to actually eat it. All right, those, three, those two we tossed out whole. Next one we catch, we're going to execute an attempt to toss much, much closer, uh, much, much further out there. Because I feel like the big predatory fish are like far further out there uh, than usual because it's midday and it's hot. So tossing in 10, 15 feet of water may actually not be enough. All right, guys, we've got another one. Might just execute this one and use it as bait. Is it small? Yeah, it's another small fish. This one's actually the smallest out of all of them. Man, there's so many of these. Nice little yellow perch. Not what I want though. But I do think I will kill this one and use it as bait. All right, we got all three baits out. Two cut, one live. But uh, I actually had something bite on one of the cut baits. I don't think it was a catfish though, because it got off. And the catfish would have hooked after so many bites. I think it was probably a walleye because that's what I always have trouble with. And they will bite cut bait once they get big enough. All right, guys. Just finished some sermons, finished dinner. A couple hours later, we're back out at dark trying to catch some catfish. We got some cut bait from earlier today and we're gonna just launch it way the heck out there. There's no wind today. There's no wind right now. So this should be good. And uh, hopefully we can get something big. Do I have something here or is it just reeds? I can't tell. I think I have something here. It's probably a bullhead. It's not what I want. But it also could just be a bunch of reeds. Oh, there's a fish. There's definitely a fish there. I think it's a bullhead. Is it a bullhead? It's rolling in. It is a bullhead. Yep, that's what I thought. I was hoping it was a flathead, but just a bullhead. It's a fat one, though. A bullhead catfish. Although that was a fish, lesser catfish like that one are not interesting to me. I want greater catfish. Not found one today yet. But I'm hoping I can get one soon. I mean, I think I'm out far enough. It's probably several feet there and I've caught greater catfish in like much less water than that. So hopefully we can get a good one. I actually have a fish here. And I don't know if it's a bullhead or not. It actually might be another bullhead catfish. All these bites are really small. I really want a big channel, but I'm just not getting it. This one feels a little bigger though. Oh, this one feels like a turtle, but I don't think it is. 
could be a pretty big wall. This one definitely feels much bigger than the last one. I, I can actually feel this one. I can actually feel this one. Maybe this is a channel or a flathead. It has to be like a pike or a walleye if it's not a channel or a flathead. Did it get off? I don't think so. But it could have just gotten off. No, it's there. I can feel it. It's big, whatever it is. I just hope it's not a turtle. Because it's, it's not completely acting like a turtle, but it's big. Whatever it is, it's pretty big. It's giving me like the lunge, lunge, lunge. It's not acting like a channel because the channel would go insane by now and pull out like 10 yards of drag at least. And I don't think it's quite as heavy as like a big channel. It could be a smaller channel, I guess. What is that? Is that just a really big bullhead? I can't see it. Is that a catfish? Is that, what is that? Oh yeah, it is a catfish. Channel gutlefish, but it's a smaller channel. It's like a five pounder. I'll take it though. I'll take it. I mean, I've been waiting for one of these. Been waiting for one of these. Actually, you know, it's not that small now that I look at it. It's really not that small now that I look at it. It just wasn't hyper aggressive. But yeah, channel catfish. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, I need the net. I need to extend the net. All right, let's finish reeling it in. Oh wait, I didn't extend. Let's finish reeling it in. I didn't go berserk the first time I, but yeah, it's a, it's a decently nice fish. It's about, it's like Mendota size, so it's probably like close to 10. I don't think it's quite, eh, it might be over 10. It's hard to say. Hoping to be a flathead too, but it is a channel catfish. Not a super big one at that, but, oh, but a decent sized one. That's eh, over 10. Just by the length of it, I can see it's over 10. Ah, it's okay. Now nah, I got it. Just need to come in the net. And I'm gonna try to get in. Thanks. All right, that's a nice one. Oh yeah, that's actually, that's easy. That's, that's probably 12, 13 pounds. Nice, channel catfish. Oh, okay, that wasn't good. But that's okay. I can have wet shoes for a while. I didn't know if you were recording or... Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. 12 pounds channel catfish. 12 pound channel gutlefish. I'm going to basically get them over here because it's going to be a little bit easier to drop off here and it's deeper so we can just, oh, just I can just splash them right on off. There you go. That's going to be good. There you go. So there you go. Channel gutlefish. Well, the power of the Lord delivered me that 12 pound fish. I have just put in a prayer request for an even bigger one. Let's see if my prayer request gets answered. There we go. All right, there are big catfish in this lake, just like Mendota. All right, I got another fish, but this one feels nowhere as big. I think it's a bullhead. It's caught on worms, so it's most likely a bull. It feels like a bigger bullhead though. It could just have a lot of plants trapped on it, which is probably what it is. That's a bullhead. Ain't big enough to be a channel. Is that a bullhead? Yeah, it's a bullhead. These are pretty decent sized bullheads, actually. I wish that was a flathead, because that would be awesome. These are just like mini flatheads, essentially, but just don't have that flathead size. Bullhead catfish. Oh, well, at least it is a fish. Better than nothing. Better than nothing. Bullhead cuttlefish. All right, bullhead. See ya. There it goes. All right, we're gonna toss the rest of the worms out there and see what we can get. Really want another big channel because that would just make my day entirely. <laughs> this is my short casting rod. Does not have a lot of line on it. And I'm out of cut bait too, so almost done for the night, but let's see if we can get another big one. Well, I think that about does it for today. 
I got uh, one big catfish, a couple of bullheads, a couple of yellow, uh, yellow perch that I use as bait, and finally caught a big one. About the average size you catch them in Dota, but this is Big Green Lake. This is in a private property. This is the Christian Conference Center here, but I'm here for a conference, so I was just fishing out tonight. So the power of the Lord delivered me a fish, but one miracle was enough for today. But, you know, that makes pretty good content. Hope you enjoyed this content. I like and subscribe. If you want to see my other Wisconsin fishing adventures, check out the lower left corner. i got a lot of playlists there, and I will see you guys next time.